Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is DragoX55, and I'm here with Mr. Legend Wolf 57 and he won the tournament here, so let's give him a round of applause here. <laughs> so, What's up, guys? So, this is the deck he used and won with. He beat me down with it, so, anyways, uh, I'm gonna let him talk about it, and yeah, so. Go ahead and take away, Mr. Legend Wolf. Alright, so with my monsters, I'm gonna talk or start with the Mufeli. You know what? Hard cards run out. Uh, it's a must have. It's good for every combo that you're gonna do in this deck. You usually use it for uh, Message Lotto or Hoot Cake if I have a monster in the grave. Uh, maybe even sometimes Crescent. But, uh, run three and it is a must have. My next card, I think, is going to be Madolce Pudding Cess. Uh, Pudding Cess is just a card that I have there for basically attack. Uh, I usually don't have monsters in my graveyard, so when I'm attacking with my field spell out, I have a 2300 beater, and that's pretty much all it's used for. Uh, also, the effect goes off where I can destroy a back row, or um, a monster if I destroy my opponent's monster, and that that's helpful in some situations, but I wouldn't recommend running more than one, and uh, that'd just be a dead draw. <clears throat> my next monsters are Maxi. Maxi helps me draw cards if needed. Also, it helps me give off my effect from Hoop Cake, which allows me to special summon a monster from my deck. Um, I can use it in my turn or my opponent's turn, and so if it's on my opponent's turn, I might use it to draw more cards. If it's on my turn, I'm going to use it for who kicks the deck. Uh, next monster, Effect Failure. Typical, good card, used to negate your opponent's effects, and uh, once I get it in the graveyard, it can also help my who kick uh, with its effect that goes off. <clears throat> Uh, my next card is going to be Mandolce Crepicent. I run two of these because a three would be a dead draw. The card's effect allows you to return any Mandolce card on your field and it will gain 300 attack points for each card. With this, it allows a whole opportunity of combos. Um, I don't usually return my monsters. I usually return Ticket or Mandolce <coughs> Chateau. I uh, usually do that, the Chateau, when I have Mandolce monsters in my grave, and then replay it so it returns all my monsters to my deck. And with the ticket, I just play the ticket back down, and it becomes a beater, 1800 beater, that <clears throat> allows me to last a turn against my teammates so they don't just kill my monster. My next cards are three Hoot Cakes. Hoot Cake is a must have. It's pretty much the main source of every combo besides uh, New Foyle or whatever, the cat, I'll just say. Um, its effect goes off when a monster is in your grave and you banish that monster. It doesn't have to be a specific Mandolce or anything. You banish the monster and you special summon a Mandolce monster. And when I special summon a Mandolce monster, it's usually Crepicent or it's Messengelato. If it's Messengelato, it's usually because I don't have my field spell out or I don't have ticket. Uh, if it's Crepicent, it's usually when I have either the ticket or the field spell. And I'll return the field spell or the ticket and play it back. Go in for a whole big combo. Um, that allows me to basically win the game that turn. Um, my next card is Madolce Magellan. This is kind of a needed. Uh, she's very good for just anything really. Uh, her effect allows you to draw a Madolce monster whenever you summon her. So basically, uh, you're kind of in a dead draw or whatever. You can't get anything. You get her, you play her and get your Mufeli. And then, assuming next turn you'll get a Hoot Cake or a Messenger Lotto, one of those. She just allows you to get your cards that you need to work out for your combos. <clears throat> uh, I guess that's it. Now down to Spells. Spells, Dark Hole. It's kind of a staple. Well, I hold on a second. Myself. I, didn't, I don't mean interrupt, but I think you forgot Messenger Lotto. Oh, I did forget Messenger Lotto. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> Messengelato, basically another must-have in the Medulce deck, allows you to get your field spell and ticket out, and those are the two most needed cards that you're ever going to need for the Medulce deck. If you don't have those out the entire game, you might as well consider that game a loss. Uh, Message Lotto when it's special summoned allows you to grab the ticket or the chateau. From there, you can do multiple combos, go in for the Medulce Queen, and so on. Now, down to spells, I did skip a spell. It was Book of Moon. Book of Moon is just a common staple. Uh, flips the monster face down. Good for negating attack or negating effects. Next is Dark Hole. Uh, destroy all monsters on the field. Once again, a staple. Um, I don't usually use it when I have a Medulce monster on the field unless I have a Hoot Cake in my hand and the Medulce doesn't get returned to my deck or my hand and I use Hoot Cake's effect. <clears throat> Next is a staple. It's Forbidden Lance. Forbidden Lance is a card that negate or subtracts your attack points by 800, but field spell, or, sorry, spells and traps cannot affect that monster. Uh, it's good to uh, gain the attack advantage on your opponent when they're attacking you with a higher attack monster, or it's good just to negate a trap and keep attacking. Next card is the uh, Medulce Chateau. This has a lot of effects, and basically its main one is when it's summoned, it shuffles all your Medulce monsters back into the deck. And from there, you know, you don't get a card unless you have a ticket, but if you have a ticket, you'll get a card out of your deck. <clears throat> uh, when this card's on the field, all Mondolce monsters gain 500 attack, so it's a must-have, and I run three. Uh, it's, it's really needed to the Mondolce deck. <clears throat> and once you basically lose the Mondolce, its effect goes off, or it returns to the deck, and that's for every Mondolce. All Medulce cards go back to the deck once they die from card effects or attack. <laughs> this basically effect allows you to bring it straight to your hand with the Medulce ticket. Uh, kind of the same concept, except you don't get your cards back to your hand. They return to your deck and you get to pick a Medulce, any Medulce from your deck, put it to your hand. And with this, it's usually the Mufeli or it's a Messengelato. Uh, most of the time it can be a hoot cake too. Just anything that you need to get the main combo off. <laughs> the last three spell cards are Mystical Space Typhoon. I think this is a staple and a must have because there's not any cards except for the Medulce Queen that can really get rid of back row in the Medulce deck. Uh, it's just kind of necessary to have because you don't want spells and traps when you're trying to do your big combo win the game. On the traps, our first trap is a staple, a middle, or bottomless trap hole, sorry, I'm thinking of both for, for monsters. <clears throat> bottomless trap hole destroys and banishes a monster with 1500 or more attack, good to negate the effects of certain cards that, well, I mean, really their effects can go off, but good to just stop eye attacks that your opponent has. Next card is Compulsory. Compulsory uh, is a card that just returns the monster to your opponent's hand. Usually good when you use it when they XYZ summon, Ixy summon, sorry, or summon a big monster that they can't special summon again. So it kind of just stops their play for one turn and allows you to do something better. <clears throat> Next card is One Dark Bribe. Dark Bribe is just the, for like the back row. You, when you want to get your combos off, you can have that set and negate their spells or traps. Next card is Dimensional Prison. Uh, definitely a staple. Good for monsters like Stardust, uh, anything that doesn't destroy by card effects. Just like the Compulsory. The Compulsory can get rid of cards that don't get destroyed by card effects or by attack. Such as like a Battling Boxer card. Battling Boxer Yolk. It's good for. <coughs> Next card is One Divine Wrath, good for pretty much any monster in the new generation of Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, most of the stuff has to do with effects, and it stops a lot of big moves from being played. Next trap is a staple as well, Two Fiends Chain, good for negating effects and negating attack from big monsters with high attack power. 
my last three are staples as well, Mirror Force, Solemn, and Torrential. Uh, Mirror Force, if you don't know what that does, destroys all face-up attack monsters your opponent controls. Solemn negates the special summon of any monster or summon, so it stops a lot of combos in their tracks and gets rid of them before it becomes a problem. And the next card is Torrential Tribute, when a monster is summoned, it destroys every monster on the field. Good for stopping a combo, special summon, just, it helps a lot. And uh, I guess now on to the extra deck. Extra deck, our first card would be Ally of Justice Cataster. Uh, I decided to put that in there just recently because I have a level 4 and I have a level 1 synchro and I decided it'd be good just to kind of put it out there so it can't really be destroyed by anything but dark monsters and kind of can stall for a little bit plus it has a high attack power and it's just overall a pretty good card for a synchro. <laughs> Next cards are Ixies and the first one's going to be Abyss Dweller. Abyss Dweller is good for any monsters or any decks that go based off the grave. Um, it basically negates every effect that happens in the graveyard and doesn't allow them to happen, which goes against the uh, Gravekeeper, not Gravekeeper, sorry, but um, Dark Worlds, especially Dark Worlds. Um, I'm trying to think of the deck. It's gonna... <sighs> Mermels. Mermels. Goes against Mermels really well. Next card is Libier. Sea Dragon. Good for when, let's say, uh, Dragox here. He banished my cards a couple times. Um, I could have played this and special summoned my cards back and gone off with a combo from there. It special summons monsters. Level 4 or lower monsters from your banish pile. Uh, special summons them on the field and so that allows you to get your monsters out of the banish and use their effects over. Uh, next card is MX Saber Invoker. Main essential card for the combo. You need this card special summon a Messengelato which by then you probably already have a level 4 out there. Mine is Crufficent. I usually have it out there. And special summon that and then you go to your Queen, Vulture Queen, has a ton of effects. Its main effect is you detach a XYZ material, Ixie's material, and it's usually a Mandolce monster, so you can have one Mandolce card, it doesn't matter if it's this field spell, the spell, or any monsters. You return two of them to your deck, and if you have the field spell, you turn them to your hand, and you return two monsters on your, or two cards on your opponent's side of the field to their deck. And that stops a whole bunch of stuff in their tracks. Um, also, uh, one of its effects, well, no, that's pretty much it, but it has a high attack power, especially with the field spells at 2700, so it usually beats pretty much anything that's played, forces the opponent to go into kind of a defensive. Uh, my next card is a stroke. A uh, pretty good card when it comes to defense and you trying to set up again. Uh, basically, it can't be destroyed by spells or traps, monster attacks, and you can flip a face up monster that your opponent has in face down defense position. So it can be used for like a high powered attack monster that you want to destroy. Because most of the time they have a low defense. Um, next card is the Leviathan Dragon. Good just for a rank 3 beater when I just feel like I can't get any of the cards I want. I need something out there that can attack, that can go over 2400, which is a standard for most monsters nowadays. <coughs> uh, most like level 5s, level 6 monsters. Um, next is Black Ship of Corn. Good for any monster that has an effect and you're trying to get rid of, uh, you use its effect, it destroys that monster, and then your opponent takes a thousand attack points, or a thousand life points. Uh, can't attack the same turn that you use the effect, but that is a plus when it comes to what card you're dealing with. Uh, let's say some exceeds monster that you just can't destroy attack power, or you can't destroy basically 
without using the card effect. Next card is Photon Popolopridus, uh, good for when your opponent goes on defensive and you know that they're trying to play with the, um, like, I don't know, flip effect monsters, it's kind of good, but if they're just setting a monster face down and you use the effect, flip it face up in attack mode, they lose 600 attack and you attack them and you usually they deal a lot of damage that way. Uh, next card is also one recommended by my friend just a second ago. Bowl of Silver Mountain. Uh, once per turn, you can attach one XYZ material to this card from this card to target one set spell trap card in your opponent's spell and trap zone. Sorry, that's sounding weird. It, it cannot be activated while this is face up on the field. If this card destroys an opponent's monster in battle, by battle, while it has an Xyz material, you can target one Earth monster in your graveyard. Special summon that target and face up defense position. So that helps with the effects of Messengelato and other things as long as you have a Medulce on the field. That uh, can kind of be useful. I don't know, I'm reading the fact. Uh, next card, Steel Swarm Roach. Good for anything. I think it's a common staple. You can also side deck it, but I wouldn't recommend it. I think it needs to be in your main deck because there's so many monsters being special summoned that are level 5 or higher that this card just negates right off the bat and you don't have to deal with them later. Next card, wind up Zen main. Good staple for this deck. Basically, it's rank 3 and it can be destroyed by spells or traps or attack power by monsters that your opponent controls uh, up to twice per I guess the name. And it only has two XYZ materials. You detach one, and if it makes it to the end phase, you can destroy one of your opponent's cards. Next card. Well, I guess that's actually all the XYZs, so I guess we go on to the side deck. Side deck. I'm going to start out with the second Abyss Dweller. I think it's kind of necessary when you're dealing with Dark Worlds and other stuff like that. Trying to get the extra. I don't know, stair step on them, I guess is what I want to say, lift on them. <clears throat> Next card is Trap Chain Destruction. Play this, and it's got to be a monster with 200,000, or 2,000 attack or less, sorry. Um, target it, and you usually side deck this in if they if it's like the main card, let's say 6 Samurai, they're... Um, I'm thinking of the legendary six samurai, I can't remember the name, but there's usually three of them. He summons that, you play this, and it destroys every single copy of it in his hand or deck, and it kind of gets rid of his combos from there. Next card is uh, the second dimensional prison, and I've already explained that, the second divine wrath. Two dust tornadoes, good for when your opponent plays a lot of spells and traps, and you have spells and traps in your hand that you can set. Now, I think that's a pretty good side deck at certain times. Next, light and prison mirror, good for anything light monsters that have a whole bunch of effects that you just can't get over. Quote unquote, light swarms, done with those uh, heretic dragons, gets rid of those, so on and so forth. Shadow and Prisoning Mirror, once again, good for Dark Worlds, any monsters that use, any Dark Monsters that use effects all the time, constantly, gets rid of those and gives you extra advantage over your opponent. Last, we got Soul Drain, and you pay 1,000 life points, and monsters that are banished or in the graveyard cannot activate their effects, hurts a lot of monsters, hurts the anything basically in the graveyard that tries to use its effect. Uh, yeah, that's the deck. So, is there uh, anything else you want to say? You got a YouTube or something that you want to shout out or something? Uh, yeah. Uh, my YouTube's Game Revolt. Uh, right now, currently having trouble posting stuff with commentary because I have a Roxio, but until then, I have Minecraft videos up there, and if you're a big fan of that, go check it out. Ah, uh, that's good. Uh, I will make sure to get a link for that, and I'll put it in the description for you guys so that you can go check it out. As I said, Legend Wolf did win, and this is his winning deck, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, it was fun to have you, Mr. Legend Wolf. Glad to have you in the duel or tournament, my bad. 
Uh, Fun to play. <laughs> and I hope to have you in future ones, hopefully, when I decide to host those. Definitely. I'll keep in touch, man. Okay, so... Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, so make sure you go check out his channel and subscribe and stuff. And I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate it very much. So, uh, and, sure will. Yep. Uh, basically, just farewell, man. Or farewell, farewell guys. All right. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So catch you guys later. And as soon as I hit stop. <laughs>